Hey, Scott here. I'm going to show you how to get Wi-Fi uh, tethering on your, well, I have a unlocked T-Mobile Note 3 phone running uh, Metro PCS SIM card. I got the $60 a month plan. It's unlim unlimited data. So let me go ahead and show you what app you're going to need. From the App Store, uh, you're going to need a rooted phone, uh, Wi-Fi tether router, uh, router uh, by Fabio. If you talk to him by email. If you have any problems, he's real good at getting back with you. And the app worked great. I believe it's a dollar, dollar ninety-nine. But either way, it uh, it works, and that's that's what it's all about on uh, unlimited data. So let me go to the app itself, which is here. I'm going to go ahead and enable it. And I will show the settings on, uh, on the YouTube video. There's only three settings I had to change for it to work. Right now it's enabling. And I'll, once I get done showing you that it works, I'll go in here and show you my Wi-Fi name. That way you can confirm that I'm actually using this. Now on my Wi-Fi TV, I'm gonna go to settings. I'm gonna go to access point names, and mine is called Scott's Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to that. Uh, let me do the. Password on my remote. That should be it. Tell it to connect. Now I am connected. So I'm going to go to Netflix. I'm going to launch Netflix and I'll show you, I'm not going to call it a bug, well I guess I could, but one thing I'm trying to work out, I got the Wi-Fi to work, but you'll see when Netflix pops up, it shows the categories, <coughs> but don't show the pictures in the movies. So, my quick fix for that was to get on my phone and for free just download the Netflix app, find a movie you want to watch. Just remember the name and search for it on a on the Netflix app itself. So, anyways, let me show you that this works. I'm gonna go up to search. Uh, let's see. All right, Cheers, Cheech and Chong. Well, why not? Let's do Cheech and Chong. <clears throat> Hit play. There's the movie. So now I am running off, and you can see here with this focus that it's sending and receiving data. So I'm using the Wi Fi tether router. You can see it running on the top. And the movie's playing. So, anyways, let me go back in here. Let me disable this. Show you the configurations I used. Like I said, I'm using a Metro PCS SIM card. Uh, just to show you my network name, Scott's Wi Fi, just like it was on my TV. The only thing you have to put on here, there's four of them Wi Fi channel number one, on interface WLAN0, method. Number three, host APD. And on drivers, NL80211. Show you one other thing I had to configure to get this to work. When you, let me get to it here. There we go. When you uh, get a T Mobile phone or Metro PCS phone, since they're bought by T Mobile, 
as soon as you put the SIM card in, it automatically says T-Mobile, well at least mine does, T-Mobile US LTE. Um, go down to your add button and add a APN or access point name and add a Metro PCS access point name when you're running Wi-Fi to switch it over to Metro PCS. For some reason when I have it on T-Mobile and I run the Wi-Fi, it pulls up the it also pulls up the T-Mobile uh, tethering or, or hotspot app and says you have to purchase it. But on the Metro, which is free, you just Google Metro PCS APN settings, put them in there and you're good. And you can find that under, if you go into settings, uh, connections, more networks, uh, mobile networks, access point names, and that's where you're going to find that. Uh, probably going to get some questions on does this work on PlayStation 3. I'm not sure. I just configured this last night to work to get free Wi-Fi for my TV. So I got internet, uh, YouTube, Netflix. I will try the PlayStation Network next and I will send another video on that. But for now, if you're rooted, um, go ahead and download the Wi-Fi Tether app. And root rooting don't hurt your phone. Um, if you are rooted, you'll get a, a super user icon. If you ever go into that, if you want to unroot your phone, go into settings, go all the way down to the bottom, and you can fully unroot your phone. So if you root it, you download the app, which is a rooted app. Let's say for some odd reason you don't like it, go into super user, all the way down to the bottom on settings, and you can do a full unroot, put your phone right back to normal. So I hope you enjoyed. You can see I turned the Wi-Fi off, and I will get another video up on this running on the PlayStation Network.